Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. So in this video we're going to be testing DYS Aria's noise filtration and as well as comparing it to some of the other top 4-in-1 ESCs. So let's get started. So what do we have? Okay, so what do we have today? We have the DYS Aria F45 amp 4-in-1 ESC which is a BLHeli32 up to 5S and um... It looks pretty good. So some of the specs here that it has a 9 volt regulator on board which can be accessed right there and possibly through these wires and I'll explain this in a little bit. So I know this has a 5 volt and a 9 volt regulator on board and um, looks overall pretty good, pretty nice. It has a nice fat heat sink right here. The FETs are all on one side and uh, we have some nice, pretty nice filtration. As you can tell we do have current sensing here so that's also very good to see. Uh, the current sensing will go through just one wire. It won't be, tele as I believe, it's not going to be telemetry. Because telemetry would be for each ESC. So would we see a small shunt on each corner or something of that nature. So this is just a generic uh, current sensing shunt resistor. Which will be accessed via wire. And once we build it, we'll get into the details of that. So let's take a look at this guy. So there's a couple things that I currently do not like right out of the box. Which, you know, took me about 30 minutes to figure out. You will not know what wire is what. It's not labeled. It's nowhere online. It's not the documentation they, they provide you with. And uh, it was a bit of a little pickle to kind of figure it out. So let's take a look at this. So they do give you this type of connector. It's a JST so you can connect it to your flight controller, all on flight controls, whatever. So they do provide this wire for you. They also provide this wire, which is really good that they do because this is the way that I think. See, again, I think I figured out what, the, what each wire does except these two here. So let's take a look at this. Uh, you do have one that is, uh, let's see how many pins this is. Actually, I forgot to count them. Two, four, six, eight. Okay, so you have one that's eight connections and you have one that's ten connection. The ten connection one would go here. And theoretically, the eight connection one would go to the DYS all-in-one, I think, V2 flight controller. And when you take a look at the wiring diagram of the V2 flight controller, you see that it'll have ground, battery, and C ground and then from the yellow up it'll start counting the motors one through four and this is the way that i'm about to connect it hopefully i don't burn it if i burn it we'll figure it out in a little bit so that's what i'm planning on doing and i believe these two extra wires could be one for nine volt and the other one could be for the current sensor i'm sure one of these is going to be for the current sensor the other one's either going to be the five volt or the nine volt and as you can tell this has a nine volt pad right there so theoretically it should give you very good video feed theoretically all right what else does it come with? Well, it comes with some nylon standoffs, which is really nice to see. It's always a nice bonus, so you can always just, you, you can never have enough of these. All right, so let's talk about some of the other specs. So it's currently it's a 45 amp ESC, 4 in 1 ESC, up to 5 as I already mentioned. That's a BLHeli 32, so it can run up to uh, D Shot 1200, as well as I believe Pro Shot as well, depending. So let's see the filtration. Filtration looks pretty decent, so I re I'm really liking the filtration, but obviously, this is just me speaking. And um, it just looks like it has good filtration. That's all I can say until we actually test it. So enough talking and let's just stick it on the bench. Alright guys, so let's go ahead and check this out. So this was DYS Aria 4-in-1 ESC and um, it didn't do so well. And why do I say that? Well first let's discuss what, what do we see here and then we're going to start comparing it. Now as you can tell here on the upper side we have the throttle noise level test. Which is 10% throttle just to warm up the motor and make sure everything's running so I don't break anything that if anything catches or something of that nature. 10%. 25% throttle, 50% throttle, 75% throttle, and 100% throttle. 
So these two are exactly the same. This one just colored version to kind of figure out where the voltage was at most of the time. And the red is where the voltage was at most of the time here. Now here we have the simulated aggressive flight maneuver such as rolls, flips, and uh, you know, just correction, correcting itself, you know, if you do a hard turn or something of that nature. And this is the kind of voltage spikes that we're seeing or back EMF, you know, it's just it's um it's not doing so well. I mean uh, I, I was expecting it to carry along the DYS ARIA badge, but here it just um, it didn't so well. So let's first start with the normal standalone DYS ARIA, and then we're going to go ahead and compare it to other 4 one ESCs. So here's the DYS ARIA, just the standalone ESC. Can you tell? Can you see the difference? I mean, okay, we can't really compare a single ESC because it has a lot more space to put more caps, but there's a huge difference here. Uh, the, the, you know, the, yeah, you can see that for yourself. So that, that's not, this is not really good on the device. I'm not saying it's terrible. I'm just saying it's not that good. That's all I'm saying. So don't take this wrong. All right. Low ESR capacitor would clean that up, but you know, it, it doesn't seem like it's running clean. It's, it's, oh, let me see if I can find something to show you what I mean by that. All right. Well, let's just go to the Dal RC engine. So the Dal RC engine is still the second best four one ESC that I have ever tested. And let's put that on the map here so we can kind of get an idea of the difference so as you can see here this is the dal rc engine now and this is the dys aria 4 one esc you can tell that it's it's almost twice as good yeah almost twice as good and i think it's a 10 bucks more expensive here the dal rc engine but i think it's going to drop in price now because the dal rc rocket is being released as well so let's go ahead and take a look at the color here. We're going to take a look at the throttle noise level right there. So you can tell this is the Dal RC engine now, and this is device Aria. You could read the tops here. Well, this one's not really named, but this is the Dal RC. Um, so you can see that here it's running a lot cleaner. As you can tell, the voltage was in this area most of the time. Here you can't really tell. The voltage was all over the place at 75% throttle. So as you're likely to have uh, mid throttle oscillations with the device Aria, likely. Not 100%, but it's it's likely to happen. Possibly low ESR would fix it, but this is really running inefficiently. This is this is what this tells me right there. Let's take a look at the Dal RC's simulated aggressive flight maneuvers against the DYS Aria 4 and one ESC here. And uh, if we pull that up, let me just find it real quick. All right, so let's just take a look at the colored version. I think it's a lot better. It, can, it just represents what's going on a lot better. So on the left here now, we have the Dal RC engine. And on the right here, we have the DYS Aria 4 and one ESC. So as you can tell here that the Dal RC is, is a lot better. What you don't want to see, what theoretically what you want to see is a flat line. So the closer to a flat line you are, the, the, clo the best, the, the better, the, the cleaner the overall system. Because this is the voltage. Voltage is supposed to be just, you know, just 5 volts. This thing, the DYS Aria, is fluctuating between 5.4 volts and 16.4 volts. Or let me just double check that real quick. Okay, min. Yeah. So it's, it's, no, it's actually 5.4 volts and 29.8 volts. Look at this. This is a huge spike, 30 volt spike. This is insane right there. It's not for a very long period of time, but it is pretty consistent that it's really topping up over 20 volts. Most of the time here, I'm not saying the device Aria is, uh, I mean, the, the dollar RC engine here was topping up around, we could say an average of 25 volts, but this thing was, was reaching around 30 volts. One time it reached I think 31 volts, but I took the most average of this sample. So yeah, the average here came up to be around 28 volts. The Dal, the Dal RC engine was, its average was around, I think 23 volts. So the, there's a big difference in voltage spikes. Now the dips are very important also. So the dips here on the DYS Aria of a 5.4 volt dip, uh, they're pretty long, as you can tell here. These dips are really long on DYS Aria. And that could create problems if you're running on the 9-volt regulator that's on board because that 9-volt that regulator will shut down. Um, so, yeah. So, let me put this into perspective. Um, DYS Aria jumped down to 5.5 volts for a second. Uh, and then it came back up. So while it was coming back up and it was below there, the 9-volt regulator that's on board, if you're powering your VTX from it, that's going to shut down the VTX. So you're going to get a blackout. But if you had it directly on the VBAT, you're going to get a, lot, a little bit more noise possible. Well, you actually, you will get noise, as you saw in, my, in, the, in the testing result here. You will have some noise. However, uh, but if you have it on VBAT, you reduce the chances of... Uh, getting a blackout and this gets worse as the battery gets drained because the more the less the volt the, the more it gets drained the more resistance the battery is going to have and then that'll just create a little bit 
a little bit more of a problem. So you can have, start up fresh. Oh, if everything is good. Why is the noise increasing? It's because the resistance increased inside the, the battery, thus giving you a little bit more noise. So overall, I'm not saying it's a terrible ESC. I'm just saying there's better ESCs. So, but it's still not as good as I expected it to be carrying the DYS Aria badge. Maybe I had too much. Uh, maybe I was hoping for a bit too much. I don't know. So let's go ahead and compare this with one of the best 4 one ESCs I have tested till this day, which is the Tico 32 4 one ESC. So let's go ahead and pick up the throttle noise level testing and take a look here. So here we go. This is the throttle noise. As you can tell, it's... um. Pretty good, actually. Hold on, let me let me let me make this a little bit better. Let's get the Tico 32 color uh, throttle level noise. So where is it? It's right. You know, this is with the capacitor. There it is. This one. All right. So there we go. Can you can you tell the difference? This is this is very nice. This is very clean for a 41 ESC. This is absolutely superb. So this is the Tico 32 41 ESC. I'll leave a link to it down below as well. This one and the Dal RC engine. And um, yeah, you could totally see that there's, it's almost twice as good, if not better. So that's just in throttle noise, which is, you know, not really important, but it's, it kind of gives you a clear representation if you're having mid-throttle oscillations. It kind of gives you a clear idea that it could be from this ESC. So now let's go to simulated aggressive flight maneuvers. So this is the Tico 32 4 one ESC. This is one of the cleanest results for a 4 one ESC I've ever tested. And um, this is the benchmark of a test right here. Can you tell? You could tell what's really going on with the voltage. And it's the, the red parts are really constrained together very close, which is what you kind of want to see. Um, here you cannot really tell what the voltage was all over the place, all over the place. And that is what translated in our FPV video feed. That was the noise. This is the noise right there. Just, you know, just that like all over the place. So uh, this is the kind of things you really don't want to see. But, you know, I'm sorry to say this, but just to put this into another perspective. Now, I'm not saying this is better quality. I'm not saying that the device R is a terrible quality, but there's a hack RC bundle, standalone ESCs for like 70 bucks. I'll leave a link to it down below. And just to get an idea of the difference, I mean, this is a $70 bundle with all-in-one flight control and four ESCs. And these ESCs cost 10 bucks a pop here. It's it's doing a, a lot better, a lot better. So the DYS Aria is is you know you decide for yourself. But it, currently, from what I see, it's not really good. But a low ASR capacitor would help. But overall, it's still running very inefficient, as you can tell in these areas right here in these spots. Uh, the way it's running is just all over the place. It could be a grounding issue. Uh, because you only have one ground pad and um, I'll probably try to dig into this a little bit more but you know um, the Tico 32 and Adal RC engine are still in the best and I don't even put I don't think I would put this just yet on the top five uh, radar for example here's the Spedex IS30 uh, I think 4 one ESC it didn't do so good and a lot of people really hated on me because I said it didn't do good and it really didn't do good look at this okay so the DYS Aria is better than the Spedex Slightly, a little bit more than slightly, but can you see this was a four in one ESC Spedex IS30? I think I got a lot of shit for this video. Uh, it wasn't, it wasn't good. It would, there's a lot better ESCs, four in one ESCs in this, so you can kind of get an idea of what's really going on here. So I'm really afraid to say that this ESC from DOIS should not have carried along the ARIA badge because if someone tested this or used the four in one ESC before the standalone ESCs. And depending on their setup and their knowledge, they might have a pretty terrible time, but they also might have a great time. So, uh, you know, different components vary different. You know, every board has different resistance, has different capacitance, all on flight controllers. But overall, what I'm trying to say here is there is better. And um, anyways, it comes down to your budget and you get what your heart desires. But um, that's it, guys. So this is going to be this is the testing result for the DYS Aria. It didn't do as good as I hoped it would do. Um, I wouldn't even put it on the top four. 4 one ESC radar just yet. Um, it just like possibly, this is possibly the average testing results. I haven't tested many 4 one ESCs just yet, but um, I would, yeah, this is still not that great. It's not that great. Um, and well, that's it guys. So I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys do like this content, please consider joining my Patreon. It'll really support the channel. One or two dollars a month would go an absolute long way. And I do a lot of giveaways there. And uh, you can also use the links down below. Those greatly support the channel. Enable me to get more components to do modding and testing. And as well as support the channel as well. And well, that's it guys. I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. And if you guys have any questions or any comments, please let me know. And I will see you next time. Peace out guys.